Food Energy, Wikipedia Audio Food energy is chemical energy that animals derive from food through the process of cellular respiration. Cellular respiration may either involve the chemical reaction of food molecules with molecular oxygen or the process of reorganizing the food molecules without additional oxygen. Humans and other animals need a minimum intake of food energy to sustain their metabolism and to drive their muscles. Foods are composed chiefly of carbohydrates, fats, proteins, water, vitamins, and minerals. Carbohydrates, fats, proteins, and water represent virtually all the weight of food, with vitamins and minerals making up only a small percentage of the weight. Organisms derive food energy from carbohydrates, fats, and proteins as well as from organic acids, polyols, and ethanol present in the diet. Some diet components that provide little or no food energy, such as water, minerals, vitamins, cholesterol, and fiber, may still be necessary to health and survival for other reasons. Water, minerals, vitamins, and cholesterol are not broken down and so cannot be used for energy. Fiber cannot be completely digested by most animals, including humans. However, ruminants can extract food energy from the respiration of cellulose because of bacteria in their rumens. Using the International System of Units, researchers measure energy in joules or in its multiples, the kilojoule is most often used for food-related quantities. An older metric system unit of energy, still widely used in food-related contexts, is the calorie, more precisely, the food calorie, large calorie or kilocalorie, equal to 4.184 kilojoules, equal to 1 slash 1000 of a food calorie, that is often used in chemistry and in physics. Within the European Union, both the kilocalorie and kilojoule appear on nutrition labels. In many countries, only one of the units is displayed, in Canada and the United States labels spell out the unit as calorie or as calorie. Overview Fats and ethanol have the greatest amount of food energy per gram, 37 and 29 kJ slash G, respectively. Proteins and most carbohydrates both have about 17 kJ slash G. The differing energy density of foods lies mainly in their varying proportions of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms, for food of elemental composition CCHHONN, the heat of combustion underlying the food energy is 100 kcal slash G slash to a good approximation. Carbohydrates that are not easily absorbed, such as fiber, or lactose in lactose intolerant individuals, contribute less food energy. Polyols and organic acids contribute 10 kJ G and 13 kJ G respectively. Theoretically, one could measure food energy in different ways, using the Gibbs free energy of combustion, or the amount of ADP generated by metabolizing the food. However, the convention is to use the heat of the oxidation reaction producing liquid water. Conventional food energy is based on heats of combustion in a bomb calorimeter and corrections that take into consideration the efficiency of digestion and absorption and the production of urea and other substances in the urine. The American chemist Wilbur Atwater worked these corrections out in the late 19th century. Based on the work of Atwater, it became common practice to calculate energy content of foods using 4 kcal slash G for carbohydrates and proteins and 9 kcal slash G for lipids. The system was later improved by Annabelle Merrill and Bernice Watt of the United States Department of Agriculture, who derived a system whereby specific calorie conversion factors for different foods were proposed.
Many governments require food manufacturers to label the energy content of their products, to help consumers control their energy intake. In the European Union, manufacturers of packaged food must label the nutritional energy of their products in both kilocalories and kilojoules, when required. In the United States, the equivalent mandatory labels display only calories, often as a substitute for the name of the quantity being measured, food energy, an additional kilojoules figure is optional and is rarely used. In Australia and New Zealand, the food energy must be stated in kilojoules, and other nutritional energy information is similarly conveyed in kilojoules. The energy available from the respiration of food is usually given on labels for 100 grams, for a typical serving size, and slash or for the entire pack contents. The amount of food energy associated with a particular food could be measured by completely burning the dried food in a bomb calorimeter, a method known as direct calorimetry. However, the values given on food labels are not determined in this way. The reason for this is that direct calorimetry also burns the dietary fiber, and so does not allow for fecal losses thus direct calorimetry would give systematic overestimates of the amount of fuel that actually enters the blood through digestion. What are used instead are standardized chemical tests or an analysis of the recipe using reference tables for common ingredients to estimate the product's digestible constituents. These results are then converted into an equivalent energy value based on the following standardized table of energy densities. However energy density is a misleading term for it once again assumes that energy is in the particular food, whereas it simply means that high-density food needs more oxygen during respiration, leading to greater transfer of energy. Note that the following standardized table of energy densities is an approximation and the value in kJ slash G does not convert exactly to kcal slash G using a conversion factor. The use of such a simple system has been criticized for not taking into consideration other factors pertaining to the influence of different foods on obesity. All the other nutrients in food are non-caloric and are thus not counted. Increased mental activity has been linked with moderately increased brain energy consumption. Older people and those with sedentary lifestyles require less energy, children and physically active people require more. Recommendations in the United States are 2,600 and 2,000 kilocalories for men and women between 31 and 35 at a physical activity level equivalent to walking about 2 to 5 km per day at 5 to 6 km per hour in addition to the light physical activity associated with typical day-to-day -day life. French guidance suggests roughly the same levels. Nutrition Labels Recognizing that people of different age and gender groups have varying daily activity levels, Australia's National Health and Medical Research Council recommends no single daily energy intake but instead prescribes an appropriate recommendation for each age and gender group. Notwithstanding, nutrition labels on Australian food products typically recommend the average daily energy intake of 2,100 kilocalories. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, the average minimum energy requirement per person per day is about 7,500 kJ. The human body uses the energy released by respiration for a wide range of purposes, about 20% of the energy is used for brain metabolism, and much of the rest is used for the basal metabolic requirements of other organs and tissues. In cold environments, metabolism may increase simply to produce heat to maintain body temperature. Among the diverse uses for energy, one is the production of mechanical energy by skeletal muscle to maintain posture and produce motion. 
the conversion efficiency of energy from respiration into mechanical power depends on the type of food and on the type of physical energy usage. In general, the efficiency of muscles is rather low, only 18 to 26 percent of the energy available from respiration is converted into mechanical energy. This low efficiency is the result of about 40% efficiency of generating ADP from the respiration of food, losses in converting energy from ADP into mechanical work inside the muscle, and mechanical losses inside the body. The latter two losses are dependent on the type of exercise and the type of muscle fibers being used. For an overall efficiency of 20%, 1 watt of mechanical power is equivalent to 4.3 kilocalories per hour. For example, a manufacturer of rowing equipment shows calories released from burning food as 4 times the actual mechanical work, plus 300 kilocalories per hour, which amounts to about 20% efficiency at 250 watts of mechanical output. It can take up to 20 hours of little physical output to burn off 4,000 kilocalories more than a body would otherwise consume. For reference, each kilogram of body fat is roughly equivalent to 32,300 kilojoules or 7,700 kilocalories of food energy. Changes in body temperature either hotter or cooler increase the metabolic rate, thus burning more energy. Prolonged exposure to extremely warm or very cold environments increases the basal metabolic rate. People who live in these types of settings often have BMRs 5-20% higher than those in other climates. Recommended daily intake Energy usage in the human body